Good morning, Kill the Kids. How you guys doing? Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's March 3rd, and it's snowing outside. A lot. A whole lot. It's kind of crazy out there. And we're going to talk spring market with the Kilner Kids, who are my Kilner group for today, because uh, everybody else is at home. So, guys, you ready to talk a little bit with me? Yeah. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about economics, the weather, history, and even some vocab here in the next 30 seconds or so. So, Mady, you ready? So what vocabulary word do we use when we talk about the number of houses on the market? What do we say? Inventory. Please? Inventory, that's absolutely right. And Liam, what do we know that a snowstorm can do to inventory in March? It can keep the houses off the market. That's absolutely, it keeps inventory off the market. And Joe, Joe, what do we know historically happens between February and March to the number of houses sold? History tells us that more houses have been sold in March than in February. And pretty much every year, right? Yeah, probably. And, and so last year, about how many more homes in the D.C. metro area sold in March than in February? Over 900. 900, that's absolutely right. Ben, Ben, can you stand up? Now show me, Ben, what a 900 jump in inventory would look like. Maybe look out. Here he comes. Oh, it's a huge jump in inventory, right? So thank you guys for helping out. Really quick, we've been studying this with the class here, and sure enough, that 900 plus home jump in under contracts and sold between February and March happened last year. By the way, we broke 5,000 homes sold in June of last year, which is a new record for the previous three years, um, which means a very, very strong market in the DC metro area. So congratulations to everybody. Now. Um, buyers and sellers, what does this mean for you? Buyers, be ready to possibly compete for new beautiful inventory in the spring market because new stuff's going to come out and it's going to go fast when we see how fast that happens month over month. And then sellers, get your house ready to take advantage of this new pent-up demand. It's coming out of January and February. There's just not enough houses on the market for all the buyers to purchase. And that's why we have these big jumps of people sitting on the sidelines ready to buy. And it's a great time to get your house on the market. Now, please feel free to call us for a free market evaluation of your home or to get your ducks in a row to buy this spring and take advantage of these great low rates. Thank you all for listening. And thank you, Kilner Kids, for helping me out today. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.